Hello, everybody. Dan Cuccimelio along with Ryan from NorCal Sports Network with a video on the Warriors finally getting their man, Giannis Antetokounmpo from the Milwaukee Bucks. We think this trade may go down this year. The Milwaukee Bucks are struggling with a 1-6 and six start to the season, the worst in the Eastern Conference. In fact, it's the worst in, in in the NBA, Ryan, tied with the Utah Jazz. Yeah. They are just struggling and going nowhere. Right. And, you know, there's crickets out there, you know, kind of chirping that Giannis is getting a little frustrated in Milwaukee. He wants to win. The Bucks look like they are a over-the-hill gang. And the Warriors are – Young, feisty, and loaded with a deep roster. And there's a few teams out there that may vie for Giannis. A couple of teams you mentioned who we were talking. Who were the teams that you you, you yeah, said? Yeah, so I was checking out the I was checking out the Bleacher Report article that was, you know, posted uh today or yesterday, I don't remember. But the teams that have been linked to him so far have been the Warriors, the Heat the Knicks and the Nets, because those are kind of the teams with, you know, the available, either the cap space or the available assets and, you know, teams that he's uh, said to his age. I mean, it, pretty much when, when this stuff is leaked with these reporters, it's, it's usually the agent kind of telling people, Hey, these are the teams he's interested in going to, because in the NBA, it's not like baseball or football where you know the team can kind of trade you wherever you, you want to you've seen it more recently in the nfl where you know players have had more choice but in the nba have we seen with harden and duran and Kyrie, all these guys where, wherever they want to end up going uh, they're going to get traded to because they have so much power and, and you know with Giannis having the no trade clause i think he's basically kind of going to decide which teams to the well, I, I think if you're if you're picking don't you want to go play with steph if possible i mean uh steph yeah, and i think Picked him and in think, 2018 in the NBA, the first NBA uh, when LeBron was a captain and Steph was right. a captain from the West. He picked Giannis, and they kind of hinted, if you read the tea leaves, that they've wanted to play together for years. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I think now it's actually a realistic time. And basically what the article talks about is that, you know, for once, the Warriors out of all the teams that are linked to him actually have the best – package because you know as you guys know warriors fans we don't always have over the years we haven't had necessarily the best assets because we had a lot of you know older stars or players you couldn't move such as clay draymond and steph but now since we've you know this year with our team is built on depth around you know draymond and steph we have actually a lot of players that you know would be movable and have movable contracts and that other teams are attracted in like our young guys such as Brandon Pajemski, you got Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody. Moses Moody can't be traded this season, but you know there's a lot of a lot of intrigue in those guys. And then you know the Warriors have a lot of first round picks coming up that you know teams who are rebuilding, such as the Bucks, would be doing by moving off of uh, Giannis. They'd be wanting a lot of picks, and you know the Warriors have you know are, if people think Steph is you know going to retire, which he is eventually, you know those picks are going to people are going to assume they're going to be high round picks. Yeah, let's take a look at this article. This was put out by Bleacher Report just yesterday. Interesting timing, Ryan. We've been talking about this for two or three days on NorCal Sports Network about Giannis. And out comes the article. And uh, basically says the Warriors have been waiting for this moment. Frankly, a not insignificant portion of the NBA world has. And uh, should the things reach the point where Antip Tupo's list of credible suitors would likely, you know, start with the Warriors, Heat, Nets, and Knicks, as you mentioned. All four have desirable markets and trade assets available. The Warriors, Heat, and Knicks also possess win-now stars, while the Nets, forget the Nets. He's not going to the Nets. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think he's trying to go to a rebuilding team. Yeah. Steph Curry on Dunleavy. This was uh, earlier from Anthony Slater on uh, Twitter, put out Steph Curry on Dunleavy. It's an ongoing job. Right now he's doing a great job, but there's going to be decisions coming up that he's going to have to figure out. It's our job as players to keep applying the pressure by the way we're playing. Yeah, it's all. It's pretty well known that the Warriors need a, another star. They need 
a star to supplement Steph and, you know, with the Warriors system being the way it is and, and the selfless play, you know, Dame Lillard is a star. He's a superstar. But the one thing that's a little bit different between Dame and Steph, Steph's not as much of, you know, a dominant possession, hold the ball, hoist, you know, the ball, there's a lot more ball movement, which I think would fit Giannis very well because you could use him at the high post. You could get the ball into Giannis. You could feed off him or he could just take it to the hoop as he does and just drive downward and go south. Up yeah, to they, the they'd use Giannis how they're using Chase Jackson Davis this season where he's going right. to, you know, he's going to get all the, the bailout passes where someone's driving and boom, just hand it off to him. He'll dunk it. And he's going to, you know, he's a better passer than Trace Jackson Davis. Right. To be honest, the last couple of years been averaging more assists than Steph. So he's he's a good passer. So I think you have kind of Giannis play that Trace Jackson Davis Draymond role where he kind of, you know, him and Steph can play off each other. And it'll be a lot better. You know, what everyone wanted from the Dame and Giannis pairing would be what the Steph and pairing is. It's, you yeah. know, all those things you wanted because Steph's just, you know, better than Dame. And everything Dame's good at, Steph's a little bit better at. And yeah. Um, I think the only thing maybe Dame's a little better at is ISO, but I don't think so. Some people would say that, but that's kind of what the issue with the Ux, uh, not the Ux, the Bucks has been this season is it's kind of your turn, my turn ball. And we saw that a lot with the Mavs in previous years, you know, with Luca and certain, you know, certain yeah. stars like Luca Dame and certain guards are just really, really, um, they they over dribble is the best way to say it. They have yeah. great handles and they're not you know they're not turning the ball over. But it's like James Harden in Houston. You you chuck the ball with a couple seconds last seconds left. Yeah, and I, it's basically a grenade. <laughs> right, I agree. And I think the one area that maybe Dame might be a little bit more proficient in Steph is the longer three, the deep deep. Yeah. Three. No. Yeah, I think he shoots a little higher percentage. Yeah. But let's take a look at this trade proposal. We've kind of come up with something. Now, when I pull this screen up, it's going to say trade failed. And I'm going to show you why it says failed. It actually will work, but it has to wait till after December 15th because the Anthony Melton, who we have in this trade, cannot be traded until after the 15th. Of the yeah, which is fine. I think the Bucks are they're not gonna, you know, everyone watching, you See, know, we're not unrealistic. We don't think Giannis right. is gonna get yeah. traded tomorrow. There it is. It says recently signed D'Anthony Melton cannot be traded until after December 15th. Okay, so there's you see it. But this is something the trade would look like, we think, because the salaries having to match. We had to actually throw in De- Delon Wright uh to the Warriors because the Bucks are a second apron apron team, and they cannot. They have to give uh, more salary coming back to them than going out. They cannot. In other words, the Warriors could not uh, be giving more money than the Bucks. Basically, so this works out perfect. If you look at the numbers here. Let me pull it out here. Where did it go? It was 50. I'm sorry. It's moving around here. Um, Hold on. Anyway, it was on here earlier. Lost it. But it's 50.8 million going out to 50.6. So it's almost virtually the identical salaries. There it is. Bucks uh, are getting four players back for 50.6 million. And the Warriors are giving out uh, two players, forty-eight point eight. Yeah, and it, and it would work. I mean, the Warriors yeah. it could be a couple, of, maybe okay. not right in there. Maybe instead of DeAnthony Melton, you know, and um, they and Brandon Prajemski, maybe they want Jonathan Kaminga and a and a Gary, and we would give like a Gary Payton instead to make the salaries work. Yeah, you have maybe to the Warriors, maybe that because I think that will be the key of this trade is the Warriors aren't going to give up Pajemski and Kaminga. They've already made that clear with the Lowry market and then the Paul George trade. I don't think they're very high on uh, Pajemski and Kaminga. I think they're more high on Pajemski. I honestly think this trade 
Uh, I think the Bucks would want Pajemski too, though, because they would want a guard. So, yeah, I think they're not going to give up both. But, yeah, the trade could be, you know, finagled a little bit. But either way, thing, it could definitely be done. It could definitely right. be The done. one thing that has to make this trade successful or to, for, to work is, for salary purposes, Andrew Wiggins has to be part of the yes, deal. Yes, he would definitely or be part of the deal. the other deal. person would be Draymond, and it's not going to be Draymond. It's not going to happen. They, so, they wouldn't want Draymond either because Andrew's no. still young enough where yeah. he – he kind of matches their timeline a little bit where they can, you know, if they get good enough in the next couple of years here, he'll still be on the team. Whereas a Draymond might be out of the league in a couple of years because of his age. Right. So it's going to have to be Andrew Wiggins in this yep. deal and a combination of the other three, whether, you know, you, you replace Peyton and Kaminga for Pajimski and Looney, something along those lines. Yep. But, uh, I think Melton will be in this deal just because yeah. of the salaries. I really yeah. do. You kind of have to. You kind of have to do it, unless, unless you gave up two more. Unless you were really high on Melton and you wanted to give up, you know, a Peyton and another player. But then yeah, I don't have think to they're going to give up. Cheap. Peyton. It won't be Peyton and Melton or Peyton and Pazimski. I don't think they, because of defensive purposes, they don't. No, I was give saying up. if they didn't want to give up Melton, they would do a Peyton and another oh. another yeah. cheap player. You know what I mean? Right. Right. And also, let's yeah. point out, this is not enough for this deal. They're going to have to throw in one or two oh, number ones. Yeah. Warriors yeah, will have fair. to give up probably two uh, picks. I think two, two picks. First. I think two yeah. first picks will, will get this they'll, done. They'll see Pajemski, whoever they want, Pajemski or Kamingo, whoever, which one of the, they get. That's basically like one and a half first round picks. It's not. They're not quite two first round picks, but they are worth more than one first round pick because they're already proven – to be better than the average first round. That's basically how a lot of these values go. They would be worth at least, you know, a first and a second. So, you know, they're definitely going to want that. And then they're going to want two more picks because, you know, we saw with Kevin Durant and some of these other stars, a lot of them, you're getting four or five picks. So like, we're going to have to give a really good first round pick that in the last couple of years, whether that's Pajemski or Kaminga, one of them's going to have to go. And yeah, we're definitely going to have to give two first rounders and probably they're going to want, you know, it seems like second rounders are a part of every deal now. So they'll probably want like two or three second rounders too. Yeah. Which we're so, fine um, with because you can buy those for 500 grand yeah. teams. So. so tell us what you think in the comments section of this video. What uh, you, you like the idea of the Warriors getting Giannis or the trade package itself. Again, we, we put it all together. Wiggins has to be part of the deal. And if I don't think they're going to give up Wiggins and Kaminga. I know it, it's no. so it's going to be a combination, but we put this together. Think it works. Tell us what you think. Like, and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate that. If uh, like the video, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, NorCal sports network is growing. We cover all of the golden state warriors post game shows right here. After every game, we cover the San Francisco Giants, all 162 post-game shows there. And we're covering all of the San Francisco 49ers during post-game as well, plus weekly reports on all of these. We're on nightly, so check us out. Make sure to like and subscribe. And before we leave, we want to mention our sponsor, Chapman. Oops, we both hit that. Chapman Law Group at 415-613-9483. They're located in Marin. They service the entire Bay Area, but they're licensed in all of California. So give Chapman Law Group a call. Tell them NorCal Sports Network sent you, and they will be glad to assist you in any of your legal matters. Thanks for watching this show, everybody. And again, it's NorCal Sports Network. Like and subscribe, and we will see you after every post game of the Golden State Warriors. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.